Hi Church, it's great to be with you today wherever you are in your day. My name is Darren and I am one of the pastors of Audacious Church based at Manchester Central Campus. I hope you're enjoying the 21 days of prayer that we are in the midst of and that we are believing for salvations, healings and restorations and praying for many, many different things over these um, and through these days. Today, we're going to focus on praying for relationships. And um, I've just got something quite personal I want to share with you. And um, in Genesis 2 verse 18, it, it says, God says these words, it is not good for man to be alone. God had just created an amazing, incredible place full of life, wonder, awe, and the spectacular. I reckon it was a great environment to be in. Can you imagine being there and walking in creation, walking in its wonder, um, standing and exploring moments of amazement, walking in and with creation? But God recognised something, and it was that the pinnacle of his creation was alone, and that is not what he wanted. God wants us to be in relationships and knows we need them. The devil... Our enemy wants us to be isolated and on our own, alone. I remember many years ago feeling alone and praying to God that he would help me find and lead me towards great relationships. I prayed, Father, help me with some, find some good friends. Give me the courage to step out and lead me towards people and help me be a good friend. He answered that prayer and continues to answer it. I got married to my beautiful wife and with God's help, we built a strong and loving marriage. He's brought many great people into my, into my world, friends that I can laugh and cry and adventure with, those who know, who I know love and support me and I can be vulnerable with. These relationships that are God-centered strengthen and make me a better person. They can also be hard work and require effort. They are, as scripture says, iron sharpening iron. I'm grateful to God for them. And um, as I type this devotion and as I think about um, that prayer, I vividly remember praying it years ago. I know I was sad, the loneliness I felt, my heart felt plea to God and he knew what I needed and he answered my prayer. There was a process of waiting and trusting. I had to put some effort in. And um, through it, I've learned that there are environments that you can put yourself in that help church on a Sunday, small groups and Sunday teams. These are all places that with courage, you can and will find great friends and possibly even romance. We can be in a great environment, a place full of life, wonder, awe, and the spectacular, yet still feel alone. That's feels like a bit of a contradiction to what I've just said, but it we can be in this great environment, but still feel alone. And if that's you, and you have never prayed a prayer similar to the prayer that I prayed so many years ago, or you may have been praying that prayer every day for a while, today my encouragement is that God sees you, God knows you, and has good things stored up for you. He doesn't want you to be alone. I'd encourage you to keep praying, keep trusting God, keep following Jesus, and I believe he will answer your prayer. And if you feel if you feel alone today, I've just got just a little prayer to pray. Spend a few minutes now in God's presence praying this prayer, and then pause in silence as you lean into the Father. The prayer, similar to the one that I prayed, Father God, I feel alone and I ask that you help me and lead me into great friendships, that you will show me people and help me see them. Give me courage to follow how you are leading me and to step into places that will help me get and build good relationships. Just pray that prayer. If you've got access to the um, the Word document, the devotion words, um, take a moment to pray that prayer and then just Take another five moments, five minutes, sorry, to pray. Let's pray over three specific relationship categories today. I want us to pray for marriages. I want us to pray for, pray for people wanting to get married. And I want to pray protection over friendships. So we're praying for marriages, 
protection over married couples and over the sanctity of marriage. Let's pray that marriages will be restored and that throughout Audacious there would be hundreds of healthy, faith-filled marriages. Let's pray for people wanting to get married, for those who are single and wanting to find a husband or a wife. Let's pray that they will enter into healthy dating that leads to great faith-filled marriages. And let's pray protection over friendships. Let's pray for a protection over friendships, that people won't be isolated, that forgiveness is rife and offence obsolete. Let's pray for unity and that people would be kind to each other and get along. Amen. Take some time um, in your day, or some time now when you've um, listened to this, uh, and just pray for those um, three areas. And if you feel alone, pray that prayer. Lean into God. Spend some time in in silence and in meditation and just lean into God and let him know um, your heartfelt plea. And But remember this. He sees you. He knows you. He loves you. Love you, church. Have a great day and um, see you soon um, in and around Audacious. Have a great day and keep praying, keep believing and keep trusting. See you soon.